this one this one might get a, a little bit funky but we're going to try it i've never done anything like this well I've, I've done it before in private but never on camera get your mind out of the gutter it's nothing like that but i think you're really going to enjoy this let's get to it Hey everybody, welcome back to Golf Test Dummy, the channel where I use my game to help your game. And as I said, I've got a little something different out here for you today. I'm waiting on the sun to go down. I don't know if you can tell, but when the sun comes through these windows, it kind of washes out the screen. Today, I'm going to do my best impression of a professional golfer. Now, I don't mean that I'm going to try and lampoon this person in the sense that I'm going to try and dress like them or talk like them. No, what I'm going to go for is my interpretation of an impression of their golf swing. Now this person that I'm talking about has had a career that has spanned across decades at an extremely high level. This person's won multiple times on the PGA Tour, multiple times on the Champions Tour, major championships on the Champions Tour, Ryder Cup captain, probably a future Hall of Famer, the one, the only, Steve Stricker. And that was about a 250 yard drive. I've got some split screen going on here for you so you can kind of see me from this angle and you can see me down the line. And I'm not going for a dead on perfect, spot on every angle and every position exactly correct. But one thing I notice about Steve's swing is that he makes this triangle in the very beginning. He makes the triangle between his arms and it seems like he maintains that triangle and his only focus is just to turn that triangle and lift it up and turn that triangle back and bring it back down. He tries to maintain that all the way through the swing. It's a really, really simple swing. Now I've got 122 and a half yards left into this green. It goes uphill about 15 feet. I'm gonna hit a little baby pitch and wedge, try and be as much like Steve as possible. And let's see if we can get in there for a major champion's birdie. That's a birdie. Now, in playing around with this swing, I found it to be pretty straight, pretty reliable. There's not a lot of curvature to it, but I've also been able to work the ball a little bit to the left or a little bit to the right. I've been able to get it up in the air. I've been able to knock it down. It allows for a, a real flexibility without sacrificing dependability, and that's a really rare combination. Now, I've got 339 yards on this par four. I've got my tee shot set up into this bottleneck. It's almost a risk reward on this hole where you could hit a hybrid off the tee plate safe to the fat part of the fairway, or you can hit it deeper, try and get closer to this green, but it bottlenecks into a much tighter fairway. I figure let's put it to the test. I'm gonna hit the driver here and see if I can get it into that bottleneck and stay out of the rough. <laughs> oh man, that's beautiful. Oh, too far. That doesn't happen. I don't hit through fairways because I had too much distance. That doesn't happen. I'm telling you, I'm not just making that up. That's a, a 270 yard drive that that's, there's really no big elevation drop to account for that. All right. So now I've got 79 yards left into this green. The pin is tucked dead on the right. Uh, I may aim just a little bit left of this flag by maybe two or three yards just to be on the safe side. I don't want to miss it a little bit right and end up short sided. This is going to be a partial piece of a wedge for me. Steve maintains the same swing, the same just keeping that triangle and lifting it up and bringing it back down with every shot in the bag all the way down to a chip. Aimed it a little left to be safe. I even went a little bit left of that with my shot, but pretty good distance control. 76 yards, I ended up 16 feet away, gave me a two putt for the par. Now I'm on to a fairly long par four, but it also has a pretty decent 
elevation drop. Looks like it goes downhill about 63 feet. Uh, it's totally safe to hit driver here. I'm going to try and bomb it out there and leave myself a shorter club. Uh, if last hole's drive was indicative of how this one's going to go, this might push close to 300. Now that, now nah, that's that's just crazy. There's no way I get anywhere. You know what? Let's let's just count on on 250 down the middle of the fairway. That was a bad one. I felt it. Oh. Oh, that was a bad one. I knew it. I knew it. I don't know exactly what happened in the swing. I, I might have just gotten the club kind of out a little bit more rather than back here on plane. Uh, but when I came down, I felt it hit the toe of the club and high on the face. And it was just this high right, really weak shot. It only traveled about 238 yards. I ended up in the right-hand side rough. Uh, it would have been much worse if I hadn't had that downhill elevation change to help me. But I've got 205 lift to the flag here. It goes downhill about 24 feet, which should help me a little bit, but I'm coming out of the rough, which is gonna rob some power. By the gauge, it looks like it's gonna knock me back about a club. So I think I can go five iron here. If I can hit this five iron pure with this Steve Stricker swing. That was as pure as the driven snow. Let me tell you, I smashed that one. It was absolutely a great strike. Just, just leaked a little bit right on me, and now I'm a little bit short-sided. Uh, so I've got to go back to the Steve Stricker short game. That's going to be an even smaller swing, a chip swing, with that same sort of triangle, up and down, up and down. Saved to par with the chipping game, got it to win within two feet, I think it was. Made the one putt, made my par. I'm totally thrilled with that. That was a fantastic five iron after a pretty miserable driver. Okay, next hole, short par four. This one I am going to play a little safer. It's 324. It goes almost 30 feet up the hill, and it definitely bottlenecks down there. I'm going to hit the hybrid off of the ground, no tee. Let's put it to a real test and just put it right down the fairway into a safe zone, give myself a short iron into the green. Looks like the pin is on the front, so I'm going to need to fly something high. Here comes that versatility we're going to test out. Let's go. <laughs> That's 230 yards split down the middle hybrid. I mean, come on. Uh, who can't play with that? That's fantastic. Okay, that leaves me almost exactly 100 yards into this green. It's 14 feet up the hill, but the pin, the pin is on the dead front. Now, I could just throw it back to the middle of the green and play it really safe and try and get a two putt and get out of here. But again, trying to really put this to the test. And I said we had the versatility along with the dependability. Let's see if that's true. All right, now look, to be fair, I did pull it a little bit left. Uh, that that might have been the swing. It, it might have just been the way that I was set up. So I ended up with a two putt to make the par. But, but the important thing is that I was able to take a gap wedge, take a little bit off of it, throw it high up in the air, have it sit down like a butterfly with sore feet, and be the perfect yardage. That is the versatility along with the dependability. I'm going to do one more here. This is a short par five. It goes up the hill, but I've got to go after this one. I'm going to hit a driver down there, bomb it, see if I can get on this green in two.
The truth is I have zero idea. I'm not watching this footage while I'm recording it. You guys are seeing it before I see it. I have zero idea if I look like Steve Stricker at all. Most people tell me I look a lot more like Jim Furyk. We won't get into that. I've got 206 yards left in this green, 25 feet up the hill, plenty of green to work with in the fairway. No reason to think that that same five iron from the other hole shouldn't put me right in the bread basket. Oh man, that was struck beautiful. Again, a super solid strike with the five iron. Again, just left it a little right. That might be something with me, I don't know, but man, I could not have hit it any better. That leaves me a pretty good opportunity for an eagle chip in right here. And if I don't chip it in for eagle, I've still got almost 100% probability, unless I just have a complete breakdown and brain fart of getting it close enough for a tap in birdie. This has the red on it, which tells me that it's going uphill a little bit. It looks like one foot, 11 inches. It's a 39 foot chip. The stuff giving you the green read is kind of canceling itself out. Should be pretty straightforward. Come on, Steve. Oh, man, it was reading uphill and it kept rolling. I, I'm telling you, I never get that much rollout on the chips on this game. That's OK, though. It was a really good chip. It was in the general vicinity of the hole. I thought it was going to stop shorter. It just rolled out a little bit. It went to 6.5 feet past the hole and it gave me a two putt. Normally at this point in the video, when I'm trying to wrap things up, I would say, OK, so what did we learn? Well, I'll tell you this. I hit some pretty long drafts. I hit some pretty long hybrids. I hit five iron really solid. I hit short irons and wedges really solid and pretty much was able to control the trajectory. I got good proximity to the hole. I hit the greens. I almost hit every fairway. That was super consistent and super reliable and super, super easy. I got to tell you what, if I can ever get my butt back out on the golf course, I want to play an entire round as Steve Stricker. Next time I get on the golf course, I promise you I'm going to give you that video. I don't know exactly when that's going to be. I've got a wedding coming up this weekend. Next weekend, I've got a trip where I'm going about three hours away from the house. Maybe the weekend after that, I don't know. I might have to sneak in and call into work one day. Uh, Jay, if you're watching this, a day maybe where I can split a little bit early and get out on the golf course and play Steve Stricker. Guys, thanks so much for watching this video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed watching it as much as I enjoyed playing Steve Stricker out here today. If you did like it, don't just click off of the video. Click the thumbs up button first. Leave me a comment down below. Did I look anything like Steve Stricker or did I at least have a much improved swing? Did I at least get better results? Give me your impressions of my impression down below in the comment section. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Click the bell so you don't miss anything. Check out the deals down in my description down below. You can help support the channel with Amazon and it costs you nothing extra. You can save yourself some money on the Bionic Gloves website. Go check out Sunday Golf and their pencil bags. Shop Indoor Golf. Go click that. Use my code so you can save yourself some money. Golf doesn't have to be expensive or difficult. I'll see you in the next video.